This is an NBC News update. I'm Gina Kim, and here's what's making headlines at this hour. Obama's speech takes down the House, a first for federal law and political podium concert stage. We begin in Denver, where the Democratic National Convention wrapped up Thursday night when presidential candidate Barack Obama took the stage and officially accepted his nomination. With profound gratitude and great humility, I accept your nomination for presidency of the United States. At the center of a football stadium, Obama riled the crowd of 75,000 people when he spoke about the American dream, the current American state, and the change that is the driving theme behind his campaign for the White House. The night also featured a mountain-moving speech from Virginia Governor and almost VP Tim Kaine, as well as powerful words from former VP Al Gore. Because John McCain, a man who has earned our respect on many levels, is now openly endorsing the policies of the Bush-Cheney White House and promising to actually continue them. The same policies, those policies, all over again. Hey. I believe in recycling, but that's ridiculous. By the way, for all of your convention and election coverage, just click on NBC Mobile's Politics folder. Here in California, for the first time ever, a civilian jury in Riverside has weighed in on the law of war. The jury took six hours to find a former Marine accused of killing unarmed Iraqi detainees not guilty of voluntary manslaughter. Turning now to the Alaskan tundra by way of Washington, a rule designed to protect the polar bear is being challenged. Five oil, gas and mining groups say the rule discriminates against business activity in the state, all coming after the polar bear was recently designated as a threatened species. And finally, it wasn't all suits, speeches and politics Thursday night in Denver. In the hours leading up to Obama's speech, a contingent of Hollywood who's who's showed up to congratulate and support the candidate. Jennifer Hudson performed the national anthem. John Legend and Will I Am saying, Yes, we can. Cheryl Crow took the stage, and Stevie Wonder rocked the crowd. That's the latest news from NBC. You can catch more on today, anytime on MSNBC, and also right here. I'm Gina Kim, NBC News, Los Angeles. Want to know the minute that big story breaks? NBC Mobile's got you covered. Just click Options and sign up for your breaking news video alert. Stay there too to sign up for a roundup of all the news going down with our NBC Mobile news update video alert. And how about the latest from Hollywood? Same deal, same place. Look out for an entertainment buzz alert. And whenever you want to know whenever that wacky video from around the world hits your phone, simple, just click options and sign up for your you gotta see this alert. Get it all right here on NBC Mobile.